Uh, welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store, and it is Mortification. Yes, I got lots of Mortification, and again, let me, uh, no, please pardon me if you see any uh, gaps in the discography. There are albums that I do have, but uh, not with me. Actually, I do have Post Momentary Affliction in a, uh, it's a, a CD digipack with this album on Nuclear Blast, but those were put away with the digipacks. You know the ones that are about as thick as a small book? And, uh, so that's boxed up, but the one, and, uh, I have the digipack CDs separated because they don't fit in the slots like these do, so, yes, I'm, uh, like an artist when it comes to categorizing my collection. Now, post Momentary Affliction, that was a good album. And sorry, it's not here for your viewing pleasure until later. Yeah, but uh, here's one. Actually, this is uh, these are songs that were recorded before Mortification released this album, the debut. Yeah, but uh, uh, it is definitely excellent raw thrash. They were recorded in 1990. There they are, back in 1990, and. Uh, at, the, at this point in time, it was under the uh, Light Force name, and it, it was uh, when they released a demo called "Break the Curse," which I have in the collection. If you check out my Light, Light Force videos, or yeah, I did one show about Light Force, so you know, type that on the search engine on my uh, channel, and uh, you'll see the uh, Light Force "Break the Curse" demo, even though it was a totally different style change, but. Uh, this is uh, this was picked up by a nuclear blast. I guess they wanted to cash in on the mortification, you know, popularity. And uh, I was glad they did it because I could get those songs on CD and more songs. And it's just raw, mean, brutal thrash. If you like a thick Wallace sound, like uh, the old the old German style thrash, like. Uh, uh, creator, uh, destruction, um, exhumer, and probably the best of, of the really extreme Bay Area thrash. I mean, this would have rocked your world. And this is straight up thrash, and it's a, it's the uh, like the screechy vocal style like you'd have in the um, uh, like on a good Creator album. And um, again, it was originally released. Under the name Light Force is a six song cassette because they didn't have the uh, budget to fit the rest on it, I guess. And um, that's that. And it has a bonus track called Butchered at Birth, an anti abortion anthem. A Dutch friend gave it to me, and uh, I'm thankful for it. And uh, sorry for you more hardcore fans of me, I don't have the Blood World CD. I have it on cassette, but it's put away. And um, eventually I'll get it on CD. So skip over to Primitive Rhythm Machine. Around this era is when I got the honor to meet Steve Rowe himself. And uh, he came to uh, the Netherlands at the church group that I was involved with at the time. Need not be named. And um, I don't know. It was, he was like a solo artist when he made this album because... It was just him, and uh, I believe he got help from a from a guy named Jason Campbell on guitar and the drummer, who uh, George Ochoa. Okay, Jason Campbell was also the uh, Canadian guy that did. Uh, he was also in the band Erase, which you know did had a CD kind of came and went. But uh, it was like, you know, a who's who of uh, Christian metal friends in the scene, you know, helping him get this done. But um, a lot of people say they don't like this album, at least in the Christian metal fans. But actually, I, I thought it was a pretty intense, intense release. Um, I just, I liked it. It was just a throwback to that really rough and raw thrash. It kind of reminded me of... Uh, in, in, Kind of reminded me of the 80s era of Voivod and bands like the, the early old school um, hardcore thrash like Prong. Um, 
a forced entry. So it was it was more of a throwback to the classic dingy rough thrash, and and uh, that's why I liked it. And then uh, when I met him in Holland, uh, he had Keith and Lincoln, who were on this album, uh, join him for the European leg of the tour. And on, on the North American leg of the Primitive Rhythm Machine tour, he had uh, two Canadian guys, one of them Jason Campbell and, and the drummer. Can't, can't recite his name right now, but they both uh, form the band at Erase and put out an awesome album. Check out uh, my video for that, by the way. Just type me race in the search engine and skip over to here. Mortification. Envision Evangeline. And uh, this has a lot of elements of, of course, you know, death metal, power metal, you know, traditional heavy metal, a um, little bit of groove metal, just thrown in for good measure. And it has such a variety. The first song is really really long it, it's broken in different pieces this song is 18 18 minutes and 49 seconds and um, the this uh, little long epic about the uh, birth of Christ and the resurrection of Christ and of course you know the whole uh, story so to speak um, he was partially inspired by a band called Mano War, and if you don't know who Mano War is, please let me know so I can go beat you up. Um, Mano War had a on one of their albums they had an extra long epic song broken in different parts, like this one. So he kind of he bit that idea off, and uh, hey, musicians are thieves anyway. It's not a secret. I've ripped off other bands' ideas. I'm sure somebody might have ripped off my ideas, so yeah, musicians are art thieves in a way. But uh, all in all, good album, great presentation. This was the first that he, he put out on his own label, and that's exactly how they looked when I saw them in Holland. And uh, they toured with uh, Decision D, which is no longer with us, and uh, open this this up. And, uh, and Rogue Productions was just getting started, so it's a lot of neat little photos. And then that's the tour bus. I remember that tour bus because that was the what the God's Pleasure Ministry had for uh, Decision D. So henceforth, and um, it was. Uh, and I'm going to stop it right here. A division of Angeline, and we'll get on further. Rock on. Thank you for watching.